we are interrogating Matt, the Grave Digger. What's this here? Is there something suspicious about his name? Uh, I guess there is. Let's check it out. Ah! You're not Matt, you're Owen T. You told me your name was Matt. It is, isn't it? Well then, who is Owen? And why are you wearing his shirt? Ah, oh, darn it, it's fallen off again. Owen was the old groundskeeper. He died digging a grave. Turned out to be his own budget cuts. You're wearing a dead man's shirt. Eh, seemed a shame to waste it. He didn't need it anymore. Well, that was creepy. Creepy. Very, very creepy. What's this? Blood? Is that blood? Blood? Where? It's all over your clothes. And your shovel. Oh, that! <laughs> That's good old Arthurtonian red clay. Impossible to wash out. One of the hazards of the job. Why are you digging a grave in the middle of the night? Well, they have to go somewhere. The bones. The what? It's the problem with building a graveyard on top of an old mine. Ground's always shifted. Before you know it, bones are sticking out all over the place. We have to rebury them. It's bad for business. That's terrible! Could be worse. Could be dead, like all of these poor souls. Ms. Smith over there, bitten by a badger. Wouldn't want to go that way. Right there is Mr. McCarthy. Set himself on fire baking biscuits. And there's your dad, of course. Your poor dead dad. Dead. Are you finished? Oh, sorry. There I go again, talking about the dead. He knows everything about this place. Yeah, he knows a lot about this place. And he won't stop talking about dead people. Which is creepy. What's this glove? Have you seen anyone suspicious lurking around tonight? Oh, well, there was this one girl. A girl? She scared the life out of me. Really made me jump. That's me. Oh, wait, no. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah. You'll have to forgive me. My memory isn't what it used to be. That was kind of an obvious joke. What's this? There sure are a lot of people buried here. Well, if they keep dying, we'll keep burying them. Do you know which of these graves has the biggest cross on it? Now there's one I've never heard before. Biggest cross. Yes. No, yes. can't say I do. They've all got about the same size cross, I'd say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you have any idea how I could find it? You know, you might want to look at that statue up there. It has a list of all the famous miners buried here. It might help you find what you're looking for. Famous miners. Interesting. How would that help me find a large cross? A list of famous miners. I don't I don't see how those two are related. What's that stuck to your boot? Oh, don't know. Could have come from anywhere. Beyond the fallen angel. Um, what now? Under the crumbling arches. Uh, you lost me. The entrance is buried there. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, is this a poem? I love poems. Do you want to hear one of mine? No, I'm good, thanks. Hmm, yeah. Jenny let him deflect very quickly. What is that piece of paper? That's what I want to know. Oh, there's something in his pocket. Is it one of those weird quartz things? Aw, it's a flower. Why do you have a flower in your pocket? I always keep one in there in case of emergency. People like to leave them by the graves as a tribute. You should take it for your dad. Okay. Thank you. 
I think it's safe to say he doesn't know anything about the man in black. Well, thanks, Matt. That's the end of the, uh, inspection. How did I do? Did I pass? With flying colors. Oh, and if anyone asks, you didn't see me, okay? See who? Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a statue to investigate. Oh, no! You can't go up there now! It's far too dangerous! I'll be fine, thanks. Absolutely not! If you slipped and fell, I couldn't have that on my conscience. Come back tomorrow during the day. I'll give you a guided tour. Ooh! Damn. I'll have to find another way to get up there. Uh, hmm, Jenny. Okay, so Jenny can go no farther to the right. She can only go to the left. At least her flashlight is working. Is there anything up here that I can interact with? Like maybe jump from there? Yeah, I have no idea how she'd reach that really, really high up thing. Ah, magnifying glass. Is there something here? No, it's not that one crow. On the tree, maybe? Yeah, it's the tree. Much like those buried in the graveyard, this tree had died a long time ago. Be careful, Mr. Crow. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. That's pretty grim. Yeah, yeah, much like everyone in the graveyard, this tree was dead. Let's see, can I climb all the way up? Or is that gaping hole too much? Yeah, no, you can kind of climb past it. But it doesn't look like she can go anywhere from there. Let's see, does she have her flashlight when she climbs? No, she doesn't. Maybe I knock over the tree to reach that high up area? There is nothing here to interact with. Ah! Disturbing all the crows destroys the tree. Maybe. Interesting. So you want to purposely scare away the crows with your light. I think that's what we're doing here. I think that's the puzzle. Only a few more, Jenny. Yep. Yep, got it, got it. That was easy enough. Another case cracked. Yeah, <laughs> cracked. Ah, because it's a tree that cracked. <laughs> waka waka. Well, I'm glad it's a tree that got cracked open and not Jenny's skull. Oh, it'd be terrible if somebody tried to attack her. Be very careful, Jenny. And let's check out these mines. These famous miners. Maybe one of them is uh, the Cross in question. You know, like his name is John Cross. That is a dead hand sticking out of the ground. Is no one going to comment on that? No one? No one. Oh, there's... There are... <laughs> Mr. McCarthy? How did you get down here? How did you recognize him? have been the wind. Jeez. Where are you, Jenny? Are you hidden? That was close. Hopefully this statue can help me find the biggest cross. In honor of the brave miners who gave their lives Jenny so that Arthurton might thrive. Jenny heard the tragic tale of the catastrophic cave-in that closed the mines under Arthurton. Everyone blamed the miners for ignoring safety procedures. 
Most were crushed instantly Just by like falling Dad. Rocks. But Dad didn't ignore safety procedures. Others had not been so fortunate. Trapped with no water, no food, no light, they were condemned to a slow and painful death. Yeah, that's really grim, sir. Really, really grim. Okay, so let's see their names. Chilton. It's a tribute to some of the families who worked in the mines. There's a sticker. Yes. Chilton. Bush. Duff. Blum. Hmm. Map, huh? No graves or crosses here. Well, let's check the final one. Cross, right here. Cross. Carvers of tunnel rock. Unmatched in strength and size. Jenny read the words to herself again. Strength and size? Look for the biggest cross. They didn't mean a cross on a grave. They meant a cross in a grave. Wait. Wait, what? Really? No, I thought it would be we're looking for Mr. Cross's grave, not we we need to look the inside the grave. The graveyard below. I've got to work out who was the biggest. Find the grave, find the secret passage to the jail, save mom. Boy, I really hope I don't have to dig them up and measure them. That's what you made it sound like, Jenny. You made it sound like you would have to go inside the graves themselves. Well, now it sounds like all she needs to do, all she needs to do is find the Cross family, figure out which grave is the biggest. Matt knows everything about the various people who are buried here, so he should be able to help. Yeah, seems pretty straightforward. Hey, Matt. I can't just walk past him. He'll see me. I need to find another way around. Well, maybe we could ask him. I was trying to ask him for help. Looks like he's gonna be digging all night. Oh, dear. So I was supposed to find a way down from all the way up there. Yeah, hmm. I guess I'll go back up. See if there's a way down on the right hand side. I don't know. I don't know why Jenny's so sure it's there. Did she check all the other graves on the way here and make sure none of them have the, the name cross on them? Is there a directory? Perhaps? Hmm. Doesn't look like we can look at those statues anymore. And yeah, you could just easily go down the right-hand side here. Okay. What is this? That's definitely a puzzle. Looks like I can use a winch to pull up the rope. Eventually, not yet. Okay, magnifying glass somewhere in this area. That creepy skull. Nope, here. It's a crow sticker. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Okay, another climbing challenge. That might be them on the left. We have a bunch of crosses there. It would make sense for crosses to be on the Cross family tombstones. Nope, nope, nope. Karina Cross. Karina Cross. taller than friends. What an odd epitaph. Oh no, this sounds like a very long puzzle. <laughs> like we need to find all these clues and then put the clues together. I know I to make it look out... easy, but I'm hanging on for dear life here. 
put all the clues together to figure out who's who, what size is what. Yeah. That one. Casper. That one. Casper Cross. What have you got to say for yourself? I was taller than Helga. Seems the Cross family had quite the rivalry. Yep, this is definitely a, a logic puzzle. I imagine our spy person, you know, the, the spy in black. Yeah, has just been spending the past five hours trying to figure that out. Oh no! That ladder over there is broken. Very broken ladder. So we can't get back to where we were. Hmm. No cross buried here. The search continues. Darn. I guess you could say I was double crossed. Yeah. Thinking there was something in this area. But no. I hope Jenny's keeping these notes, right? Casper. Okay, she is. Nice. Thank you, Jenny. Dangerous crossing here. Okay, so I went there to the left. Already went there to the right, so the only uh, route I haven't seen so far is down here. Where does it lead? Oh no, this pathway looks like it's going to fork. Oh, it doesn't! Okay, great, it just continues. Okay, you have to climb up a little bit first, you can't just climb right. Yeah, I've noticed that. That seems pretty consistent with this puzzle. Like, uh... Oh, we can jump over there. Hmm. Yeah, you can't go just straight up and down or left and right. You do have to uh, go a little bit left, right, up and down. To get through that maze. Is it the one in the middle? Bingo. There's, a, there's that France. Hello, France Cross. And let's see, magnifying glass here. Is that another sticker? That's another scrap of that postcard. Oh, we finally got this postcard scrap stuff figured out. And this is only our second postcard, so that might mean we're only uh, halfway through this game, huh? No, no, I was halfway through the game hours ago, right? I don't know how close I am to the finish. This, this is rough. I don't know where that piece would go. I don't even know where this is a picture of. This looks like, not the graveyard, it looks like some sort of Egyptian themed place. Alien Egyptian place, huh? I don't know about that. That looks like the place for it. Okay, this one small scrap is way too small for me to place. So I'm gonna place it last. There. Yeah, so we've got 17, um pieces left, so unless I've been missing a lot, that means there's a lot of things to find. A lot of things still to find. Let's finish with Francis Cross. Ivan. Okay, that's great. We don't know who Ivan is. So it's definitely a puzzle, so we know Franz, Helga, Ivan, I, I, I don't know who any of these people are, so it's just gonna be a, a logic puzzle. That's what I'm thinking. Once you get all the clues, you put them together to figure out who the tallest is.